example, let me bring you in at this point. So, I mean, we've been engaged in this back and forth because of one man. Now, out there, when you look at how the NPP is going about this, I mean, after the president's letter, then you had the, uh, you know, the NPP National Executive Committee issuing a letter, uh, you know, telling its members not to partake in any vote of censure, which was then being championed by the majority, uh, the minority. Now, the NPP is known to have said they have the men. Out there, Ghanaians have asked a question, why is the NPP going through all this back and forth because of one man? Can this hurt the NPP or the party should be thinking about sacrificing one man in the interest of the party? Well, what is going on is already hurting the party. Mm. Um, if people within the party would speak to you um, publicly or privately, they would let you know that they are not happy um, with what is going on. And don't forget that among the first people to ever call for the removal from office of this one man you are talking about um, are people or groups um, from within the ruling party itself. People went on demonstration to do this. And so internally, there are issues. And generally, within the body politic of Ghana, the call has been quite national. If you speak to the ordinary person, they are telling you that um, this is the way to go. Um, the man must be asked. And so I do not see why we are still where we are. And um, it appears that we may all have to abandon our various professions and join partisan politics, uh, partisan political campaign, and to get ministry appointment. Because it appears there is something there that when you get hold on to, it becomes difficult to abandon. Otherwise, why? And this is a man who is an accomplished businessman, an accomplished investment banker. He's had it all, he's seen it all. So, but why, what is there? Um, the issue about 